here at the library work as a uh, community hub where we support our low-income senior citizens with access to uh, fresh groceries and fresh produce. Uh, we also help sign up our senior citizens and community members for CalFresh and um, help enroll them into other cool programs such as our smartphone citizen, our senior citizen smartphone class where we assist our seniors with how to use their tech devices. Okay. Hi, my name is Zhang Yang Wu. Uh, I use he, him pronouns and I go to downtown Manus High School. I'm a senior. So my project is basically conducting uh, individual interview with seniors in their own dialects and then translate them into English or any other languages that we want. So the idea is uh, using these translation, we can reach out to more communities. We can reach out to more people who are activists, who are really curious about uh, not only Chinatown, because this is not only happening in Chinatown, uh, gentrification, uh, like marginalized groups, uh, affecting marginalized groups, community, uh, not just happening in our small little community. It's happening across the nation, uh, especially how you're seeing uh, food insecurity is in the whole LA County, in the whole uh, Los Angeles, in the whole California, in the whole United States. Like we want to bring these voices not only to uh, talk about our issues in Chinatown, but also talk about the issues that everyone relates to. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Caleb Leong, and I'm joined by Chi Hao Huan. And my name is Zhang Yang Wu. My name is Malia Mahalona Jamalkan. And we're all from the Chinatown Teen Council, interviewing... I am Eugene Moy from the Chinese Historical Society of California and a native of China. Hi, my name is Eunices Hernandez. I'm the council member representing the first district on the LA City Council. And I'm here to stand in support with CD1 community members who are tenants. CD1 is 60% tenants. And it's part of who we're trying to support and making sure we keep housed. Because right now there is an eviction to homelessness pipeline that we need to cut and stop. And we need to do everything in our power to make sure that we can keep people housed. Because it's much more difficult to house someone once they're already experiencing homelessness. And there's so much preventative work that we can do. And so I'm here to stand in solidarity with our community members who are tenants in CD1. More to make sure that people can live in the places that they work. And work in the places that they live. My name is Kathy Manor. It's about 16, it's a 16 floor SRO. So that stands for single room occupancy. And there is a lot of elderly uh, seniors who live there, mostly uh, Chinese speaking. And we helped uh, deliver groceries to the seniors on the many floors of Cathay Manor. And this was at the time where both of their elevators were working. So we had to manually go up the stairs. And let me tell you, it's a very, it's a, it's, it's, it's a journey. Um, there's very little ventilation. So it's like you're sweating, you're huffing, you're puffing up all of these stairs and we had to go to like the 15th floor so it was quite the workout and I can only imagine how difficult it is for the actual seniors. <laughs>